What's up, guys? Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate, and Happy New Year. We're back again. We seem to go on a hiatus way too often, but it's fine. It's all good. I'm. This is three potatoes in a pot. We have, as always, Aiden. Hi. And Brody. Yep, I'm still here. And of course, your host Gracie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a doozy. It is. It is a doozy because I have my first story of the day. So, when I went on vacation to Colorado, as you know, and now the audience knows, and I went to Winter Park. Not relevant to the story, but just now I'm in a skiing kind of place. But anyway, it was the first full day. And my grandma the night before had been scrolling through the TV and we own this like backwater subscription to where we get all sorts of shows. Anyway, she gets to a channel that has a access, has asks for a code. And she gets confused, so she turns off the TV. Next uh-huh. morning, wake up, go to get on the TV. My dad's like, huh, it's asking for the code. I'm going to just type that in real quick. Boom. Porn. <laughs> right on the TV. Nice. Seriously? And I'm not kidding. I would... <laughs> Immediately, we all freak out. I start... I. I start silently screaming. I cover my eyes. My mom was like, Gracie, cover your eyes. And I'm like, I am, I am. And and she's yelling. I'm yelling. Dad is standing there frozen. He won't change the channel. He likes and I'm it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, can you please, for the love of God, change it? And my mom screams, Scott, if you're not going to change it, might as well turn it down. <laughs> oh, so it was, it was like full volume. It was, yes. That's, <laughs> and my sister was sleeping in like the next room. <laughs> so okay, so in my image, in my head, I thought it was just a bunch of like options for videos. I didn't know it just was bam automatically playing. Yeah. So what he did was there are like on this thing if you scroll like into the six hundred. There's adult channels. And my dad was like, hey, I'm going to put a restrictive code on this. That way my kids don't accidentally stumble upon it if they scroll too far down the channels. He forgot about well, the code. Well, yeah, because my grandma the night before had been scrolling and that code came up and she was like, hmm, maybe I did something wrong. I'm just going to turn off the TV and not worry about it. Fair. And so when my... So when my dad went to watch TV, he was like, because usually you have to punch in the code to like start your subscription. So he was confused. He was like, okay, why is it asking for this? Well, that was why he was on one of those restricted channels and it was asking that code to watch it. That sounds fun. It was family filled fun. And Uh, when I told this story to my other grandma who was not there when when it happened she was like well what was on what what was on why are you asking what was on yeah what she, that night. she was she was she was worried about the content were there were, was it good content <laughs> what well, that's a. Oh, okay. I, I just well, sent in chat what it was because. I mean that. I mean that. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, what else would it be? It could have been worse, honestly. That's fair. That's pretty normal. Anyway, is that all your <laughs> stories from vacation? What? I keep forgetting that I can't just swipe out of the app. 
What app are you on, Gracie? Discord. Oh, okay. I keep swiping out of it, and I'm like, why can't I hear anything? Oh, yeah, because I swiped out of it. Urgh. Yeah, no. Can't do that. Yeah, maybe not. So now that my family keeps asking me what I'm watching, it's like, it wasn't my fault, okay? It was my grandma's. Yeah, why did they think did that you were on that? Well, my mom is just thankful it wasn't Isabella who was out in the, my younger sister, for anybody oh, who yeah. didn't know that. Like, for me, it's like, okay, yeah, older, older child probably knows more. But Isabella would have been like, what's going on? Does she not know what that is? Who knows? I'm not gonna ask. That yeah, that's fair. Now the question is, how long have your mom trusted your sister on the internet by herself? True, but that's that's what my grandparents brought up. They were like, "Well, you don't know what they know," and I'm and she's like, "And I I like to stay blissful." Yeah. Gary. Yeah. yeah, I had decent holidays. Nothing big happened. I don't, yeah. Just a normal holiday? <laughs> as normal as holidays get, yeah. It didn't feel like Christmas to me when I was in Colorado just because it was snowing a bunch, but like uh -huh. I wasn't home. Yeah. It just felt like another day. So you were in Colorado during Christmas? Yes. Oh, okay. For six days. Did you meet nice. the giraffe, that... dude? What? <laughs> the the giraffe. Oh, giraffe. No. I, I can't ski. I learned that the hard way. I'm more of a snowboarding person. I should have snowboarded. Well... So the thing with skiing is you have to put on these tight boots around your feet and it's a you've got to find a very happy medium. They can't be too loose but they can't be too tight. Well mine were too tight and I couldn't feel my toes. And not ah. because they were cold, because there was not enough blood. Circulation, yeah. And in turn, the, I wasn't getting blood to my calves. And they really squeeze on your calves. And so my calves were cramping and I couldn't and I the the walk from the rental to the actual ski lift to the slope we were going to was way too much. My legs were burning, and my mom was like, "Man, you really need to work out more." And I was like, "What? Ah, what? There are there is fifty pound weights on my feet, and I can't feel my toes." Is that how much skis weigh? Skis weigh fifty pounds. No, I'm exaggerating. Oh, okay. He's like, how much do skis weigh? Because, so, I always thought, I didn't realize there were specific ski boots. I always thought there. you just kind of wore your, your boots and then just put them on. Oh my gosh, I wish. That would be so much easier. Because that's how snowboards work, at least, or at least the ones I've had. Well, my dad was like, no, you got to get the boots specifically. And I was like, I'm seeing people wearing Vans right now. And those are probably specific, specifically Vans ski snowboard boots. <laughs> But they're so much lighter looking. They're literally van boots. Yeah. And you don't wear regular shoes because then you can't click into the skis. Oh, so those are that's what the ski boots are for. They actually yes. like click in. Yeah. Okay. It's not like with snowboarding where you just wrap your feet around. You actually click into it. Oh. Uh. But no, I finally got those things on, and it is so hard to tra traverse when you can't feel your feet, and the stupid skis won't let you move. Yeah, so, I can imagine I, not feeling your feet would not help. Well, yeah, so I got pretty far, and my mom thought I was just nervous. She goes, you're making it up. And I'm like, what? My nerves are cutting off circulation to my feet. 
I've never been so nervous to where I can't feel my feet. That is, is that a bonkers. Thing that happens? No, that's why I was upset. I was literally like hyperventilating because, you know, can't feel my feet. And I, I kind of want to have feet. I don't want to like kill them because there's no blood flow. Yeah. But she was like, you're just nervous. Uh, ooh, uh, 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 are you joking me right now, mate? Are you joking me? So I was like, I can't do this. I'm, I, I, I was like so worked up that I, I was hyperventilating. I couldn't breathe. And my dad was like, this freaking guy. Because that's how he is about everything. This freaking guy. Can't even, can't even go skiing anymore. He was snowboarding. And I was like, the whole time I was like, should have, should have gone skiing. Should have gone snowboarding. Yes. Should have gone snowboarding. Snowboarding is the superior no sport. I know. And everybody's like, oh, skiing. I love skiing. Skiing is so much fun. No. It's, snowboarding's just even harder to move in sometimes. Well, yeah, because I mean, getting off the ski lift would be pretty hard in a snowboard, at least from what I watched my dad do. But anyway, they just gave up on me. They're like, fine, whatever. You stay down here, we're gonna go ski. So they left me down there for like a whole hour. I was sitting there, like, in, in, in this little outdoor space. So you didn't even that... ski? Hold on. I sat there for an hour and I was like, basically like having the worst panic attack of my life. I was like, what, 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 why, what is going on? Why it why is it why? Uh-huh. And then my dad finally gets down and I I had gotten so upset that I was like, fine, I'll put the freaking skis back on because my dad had taken them off of me. Can you so not just loosen the boots? I tried. That was That's what I tried and I was like, fine. I sat down and then I felt better because there was no pressure on my legs. So I was like, fine, I'll do the stupid thing. And then I was like, man, there's really no beginner heels in this place. And I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Some of those kids going on there are freaking, they're kids. Kids don't understand how dangerous things are. And I will stand I mean, by that. It's on snow. It can't be that dangerous. No, it's just, if you look at these hills, they're very daunting. And it's also the fact that I don't, I don't, I don't like what's going on. I, don't, I am a little baby. But I got on the ski lift and I immediately fell over. Wow, what a shocker. I literally fell over. And the lady was like, did you try leaning forward? And I was like, yes, I tried leaning forward. That's what Isabella told me to do when I did it. Did you try leaning forward? No. No. That'd be too easy. No. I never thought of that. Gosh, I can't. I fell over. I knocked my dad over in the process. And so I was I immediately was hating on it. And then and then I fell over again because I couldn't stop. I, my my sister was yelling pizza because that's huh? the way you're. That's what it's called when you stop. You your feet look like pizzas, and I'm like, I'm not. I'm not feeling like a pizza right now. Kind of feeling like a dummy. And she's How does like, no. That. So your that's... feet are pointed in. Oh, okay. It's looked like a pizza slice. Yeah. Okay. And to go is like French fry. She was yelling pizza, pizza, and I was like, "I'm trying your pizza, not working." So that I I landed on my tailbone and it still hurts. And I was like, "Nope, I'm going down." And I went down the ski lift. Sadly, 
And my sister loved it. She was really good at it. And I was like, I hate you so much right now. How dare you enjoy? How dare you have a good time when I am not? I have horrible memories from, um, like, with my tailbone hurting, but for a completely different reason. So, I despise roller skating. Oh, First really? Yeah, no. I can, I, roller skating is my worst enemy. And you want to know why? <laughs> why? Because, it, like, I, I love ice skating. Ice skating, you can walk around. Roller skating, <laughs> you can't. So one time, I was using the bathroom at a roller skating rink. Oh, no. I, I fell on my tailbone. It oh. hurt so much. A random dude had to drag me out of it. Oh, man. Yikes. And I despise roller skating to this day. I enjoy roller skating a lot more than I do ice skating. I have the opposite. Because ice skating, I can ice skate. And it's fun. It's cold. I like the cold. Roller skating, I want to learn it, how to ice skate. You don't know how to ice skate? Well, I mean, like, well. Not like, I don't know how to ice skate. I want to learn how to do it well. You could probably ice skate better than my brother. Well, I, I roller skated for a really long time. Which, I don't know if that would help at all. Did you use the four wheels or? I used like, inlines. I don't know what that means. The four, the straight wheels. Well, then, yeah, ice skating is like that. And honestly, because... I've taken I've taken some gnarly hits to. For, from roller skating. Yeah, I despise roller skating though. Well, that was because I did a lot of roller skating because that was the thing, you know? Uh-huh. For our school, it's like free skating part. They always had, like, our yearbook signings were at the skating rink. All of my friends went there on, like, the weekends. It was the nerds. Now that I'm thinking about it, we're nerds. Freaking nerds going skating on a Friday evening. I, yeah, I didn't realize people still did that. Because to me, roller skating is like a really 70s thing to do. I know. Well, that was us. That was that was the entirety of my school. It was like, ooh, some some middle schoolers. Because that was like elementary school. It's like, ooh, some middle schoolers might be there too. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Were they ever? Were I mean, they ever like, there? I mean, the lame ones were there. Ah. Uh -huh. Fights would happen at the roller rink, and I was like, think about it. <laughs> Thinking about it, we were like fourth graders, and we we're like, oh my gosh, they're gonna be a, gonna be a fight at the roller rink. <laughs> were they actual fights, or were they just? Hey, they were actual you... fights. <laughs> I'm not kidding. There was wheels flying everywhere. It, there was fists. They were just going. Yeah. Also, you know this thing I despise the most about a roller skating. Hmm. The step to the eating area. Oh my god, yes. That, why? So It doesn't at our have local, to go that hard. At our local roller skating area, there's about a half foot step that you have to step up to go sit down somewhere. And it's all like hard. It's all tile. Yeah, it's like, that's a terrible... terrible Ice skating choice. is just superior. I feel like it's a little bit more dangerous, though, because with ice skating, you can, you have a chance to get cut. With roller skating, it's just all blunt force. Blunt force trauma to the back of the head. <laughs> Uh, compared to getting a chunk of your head cut off. I didn't never did much of either roller skating or ice skating. I never liked really? ice skating and roller skating. I had an irrational fear of the floor falling in while I was ice or roller skating, and I <laughs> thought yeah, see, I would fall my, through the floor. My dis my hatred of roller skating is fair. Yours is not. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is fair game. I did finally overcome my fear when I was like in fifth grade. But, and I actually got pretty good at it. And that was right when everyone stopped going. And then I was sad. It's like, I you gotta be cool. And the All only the cool time I've ever people. ice skated, I used a walker because I was little. And then, never oh my gosh. Again. My um, brother's my... in heaven and he still uses the walker. My friend was a figure. My friend was a figure skater, so I went like with her one time, and I, I went out to the middle with her, and I, and I brought yeah, the I... walker along. Uh -huh. I brought the walker along because I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna watch. Figure skaters are cool, man. Uh huh. I want to yeah. learn how to figure skate. I want to look majestic, but I know uh, yeah. I'd probably give myself a concussion. I I want to figure out how to stop from being on ice skates. Yeah, not <laughs> because my well, current way to stop is go is running full force into one of the walls. <laughs> toe pick. That's how you do it. Toe pick. So you stick your toe into the ice. Toe pick. That's how you die. I've almost died multiple times doing that. <laughs> that that's also from a movie, so. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. But still. The oh. whole time I was in Colorado, though, I was like, I am meant to be on the beach. I am meant for the warm. I'm not. It, 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 was, it was cool seeing snow on Christmas. We don't really get that much anymore here. No. We've got snow on Easter more than snow on Christmas. I know, it's like, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, oh, but, um, what's how you get this? Yeah, that sounds okay. fun. Thank you. I, I am not built for the warmth very much. We did tubing, though, so that was my redemption arc. Oh, t like snow tubing? Yeah. That's fun. Who it is? Isabella. Who it is? Yeah, because I have my earbud in. Hi, welcome. No. You're a special guest on the podcast. Oh, in the group? Hello? You, 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 get, you get sis. You get yes. uh, sis. Hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> you're making a fool out of yourself. An absolute fool. Yes, I'm saying, yes, you're, I can saying hear you're ugly. I am. We are. I want to. I, I, I only call my brother fat. That's it. I didn't call. I didn't say you called her fat. I said you call her ugly. No, I know, but I, the only one I actually <gasps> offend. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Aiden's mine. Aiden. Huh? <laughs> what did I just? I don't know if I heard up. that right, but I. I, I, think... I what did I just <laughs> hear, Gracie? <laughs> you heard nothing. <laughs> Are you, you sure? No, we're not playing Mario doing? Wonder together. They're playing Minecraft. Minecraft is such a. What? Uh, what? Okay. Literally... Roblox is better. <laughs> yes, they can hear you. <laughs> yeah, oh, what is it? They what, can hear you just is... fine. She probably plays adopt me. Isabella, uh, give me my phone back. Not freaking adopt me. Adopt me. Adopt me stole so much of my time. They're saying you play adopt me. I know. Adopt me is for losers. I do not play. I'm what do you play? play? What do you play? Theory you better games. play front lines. Huh? Theory what games. Huh? Oh, the those stories. Scary games, ty tycoons, obbies. Those are like the not very well games. Get away from me! Wait, what are scary games? <laughs> like you know when we played with Brian and Hiller, we used to play those like campfire story and all those. Other oh, those games. things! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only a I couple of those are actually good. Scary games. <laughs> Oh wait, scary game. Okay, not scary game. game. Uh huh. Shut up. I swear, anytime I bring Biscuit, my Minecraft horse, out and about, he runs away. 
There he is. Well, I think I think we may have unlocked the best horse. I don't know why, but we can't seem to get the jump up, Brody. Mm -hmm. We may just have to breed. Uh, if we continue our uh, genetic experimentations, we might have to find we may just have a crazy to breed jump it. horse in the wild and breed them. Yeah, in the wild. Yeah. Because Biscuit can barely jump two blocks. Yeah, Biscuit I, Biscuit, are, you, uh, are you horse breeders horses. over there? <laughs> we have been applying. We definitely both aren't genetically modifying any science. horse. Horse science. We're definitely not using. We're definitely not using speed potions to enhance horses or anything. The giant horse. No, because that would be wrong. And that's all I need to say. Impossible. You guys do any of your script this break? I have no, four lines. No, say you didn't either. I didn't. Okay, good. I justice for Aiden. He has to do background parts. I know, right? Aiden, I have you got you got skipped. You got runt work this time. I have. Which I mean, it it was gonna happen sometime. I mean, honestly, it was like somebody had to do it, but at the same time, justice for Aiden. I just want to be mad for the sake of being mad. How I mean, dare I've, they? I've, I've accepted my fate. Though the thing I'm angry about, though, is not necessarily the part. It's that I have to show up to every goddamn practice. Yeah, if you, bro, what? It's like, <laughs> I love how one of your parts is just the clumsy man. Is that one of my parts? Seriously? Yeah, because yeah, if I looked at the extra extras. Like... Yeah. Did you know that? Amazing. No, I didn't. I just thought yeah, I was so... the chef. At the party, I think one of them is the clumsy man. Oh, oh you, get get a, you get to dance with uh, the stepmom or whatever then. Yeah. I haven't really looked at the script. I just know that that's what one of the things you are. I kind of ran through my that. parts today, and it was just. Uh, I don't and know. One of I the interesting I... things. It... Hello. Hello. Hi. I was oh. gonna eat later. I'm talking with these people. All right, Brody. I think we gotta find a really good mm -hmm. jump horse. No, so but the funny thing was nearby because these are the ones you bred. The funny thing was Dylan said he was going to learn all of his lines for Act One, and I was like, "You won't," and he didn't. Did he? Yeah. No, that's good. The only one who did it was <laughs> bleep that name out. <laughs> oh, do I have Guys, to? fine. Wait, I mean, Brody, I... I found a really good horse. It's I found a really good jump horse. This one can jump. Three blocks. Okay. Why well, are you horsing around? Real quick. We shall read these. All right, Why anyway, are you horsing I, around? We are recording a podcast, bro. Yes. <laughs> Stop are you having fun around. listening to our gaming commentary that you can't see? Speaking yeah, Gracie, of gaming, you join I got our Minecraft World of Wonders. Uh, I'm playing Mario Wonder right now, so no. Is that That's too bad. What you were about to talk about? Yeah, hashtag gamers. Mario Wonder is easy. If you didn't know, I don't know. It's really easy. What's it about, Mario? Yeah, but I get to play as Peach, so that's good. I like uh, Peach. I don't care if she's a dumb blonde. I. Why, why, is this an argument people make? No, but I uh, she's blonde and uh -huh. you know, she's pretty dumb. If she, no, she's Mario somehow is dumb. She somehow actually get, gets captured by a dragon all the time. No, no, no. Mario's dumb. Why do you think your girl keeps going back to him? There's got to be something that he has that Mario doesn't. Like, come uh, on. Not to I was about to say something, but probably not child appropriate. 
No, but I know what you're thinking. And the answer is yes. I shall put the it fan in art the... proves it. I never mind. The I have fan no art proves it. I have no reason to put it in. <laughs> I just what wait. This is what fan art are you looking at? There is fan art everywhere. I understand that there's fan art. But no, 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 no. There's not fan art everywhere. This, this thing for that's being They're referred everywhere. to here, you have to go look you'd have to go look for that. They're yeah. everywhere. Don't what are you it. looking for? Don't worry about it. Let's just say I've dived I dove deep into the deep end of Mario not Mario <laughs> Bowser X Luigi and let's no. just say no. <laughs> no. So, on another no. note no. Um, I built botanical gardens in Minecraft, yeah. That's oh, more yeah, kid that's... friendly. <laughs> that sounds that sounds fun. It's a beautiful glass dome thing with great cherry Let's blossoms. Just, Luigi is the ultimate You know what? Never mind. Huh? 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 Anyway, back to Luigi the, the ultimate. It's really nice. I got some pandas there. There's uh -huh. some stone pillars with a crystal. That sounds fun. It's Unlike a great tourist whatever destination. Gracie was. Listen, listen. No. How many times have you tried to way move past this? Take fandoms. the hint. Way worse fandoms, guys. So wow. Well, different perspective. I got a new computer for Christmas. What? I know. What? I did it as well. Really? It's weird. Except I built mine. I didn't feel like building brick a by brick. Pretty much. Which is why I gotta spend the first like ten minutes of our conversation adjusting all of our audio levels. Because mm. it changed. How but, many terabytes ah! does yours have? Uh two terabytes of M.2 storage. That's nice. Uh oh. We're we're like Markiplier's tech updates right now. No. <laughs> oh no no but I, at least we can at least people can actually afford a two about two terabyte a terabyte of storage take costs about what like 70 bucks probably 50 yeah i don't know but I, anytime I, anytime i hear a tech update i pull the old I think it's pretty funny. Especially him talking about a thousand dollar lenses that really serve no purpose other than to make something look kind of nice. Yeah, he kept like I'm about sure that and I uh, I still question it. I don't know. When I, when I think of lenses, I'm like, you can make a good shot with a well a reasonable priced lens. Yeah, I know. Like, haven't some fantasy. really good movies been made off of, like, two bucks? Not exactly, but, you know. But, like, good movies isn't how much money you put into it. It's how much, like, creativity you put in it. Just like with games. But also, obviously. well, games are different. Because That's you true. can make a game by yourself if you just put enough work into it. A movie, not so much. That's true. Look to Halloween. Halloween was made incredibly low budget. And look how it turned out. Great movie. So is the movie Pot Zombies, and that's still not very good. But Halloween the ginger is a good dead Halloween man. movie, don't you think? <gasps> the ginger dead man. Let's see how many distractible <laughs> things I can reference. Now, who do we think is going to win? The person <laughs> from Halloween or Ginger Dead Man? The, the Reddit guy or Ginger Dead Man? The what? <laughs> that one guy on Reddit that they always talk about. Oh, yeah. The answer is Ginger Dead Man. What about the moon? Or the <laughs> the moon. 
we're being niche again. We are. I don't think the podcast really that niche anymore, though. No, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Our podcast yeah. is niche. No, yeah, I know it is. It's very niche. So, anything we say is a very niche thing to say. <laughs> Even if it's the most generic thing. Huh. Guys, is it okay to be a little niche? Sure. I went to, um, I went to our high school's winter tournament thing, the championship, and in the back of one of the pictures is my face, my mouth wide open as I scream at, I don't even know what I was screaming about, but I was sure screaming. Amazing. They, oh, um, it's always the worst thing. I always... The photographer always gets me when I'm like mid heckling. Because I do that a lot. Because Yeah. What wait, what winter turn what like um the holiday one. No, I know, but what age is this? This this was high school. This was high school. okay. It I don't was know. our I... girls. The uh, boys got third. I don't watch many no. tournaments. I'm guessing it was basketball anyways. Yeah. But the woman who, the coach of the other team, was wearing heels. And oh boy, I had a fun time with that. Because why are you wearing heels to a basketball, to coach basketball? What are High school you, basketball is, at that. This is not a business meeting. But it, and, and the whole time I was just like... We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to tell our athletic director about this. He's gonna mess up the gym floor. She's gonna mess up the gym floor with her shoes. Like the was this in the new gym? Yes. Right. Yeah. Oh. How is this allowed? Yeah. Where's he would have got it. I. I don't know if he was too busy watching the game, but dude, there's heels on your floor. Fix it. That way you can get her out of here. That was the, I felt the same way with um I called her I called the lady at the game heels and I called the lady at volleyball state pantsuit because she was wearing a pantsuit. Why coach, was she wearing a pantsuit? To coach volleyball. That is what that's what I'm saying. That's just stupid. People, you gotta stop taking yourselves too seriously. We're in a silly little world. Don't wear a pantsuit to a high school class, what, class two level volleyball tournament? Not volleyball tournament, volleyball championship. Yeah. You're playing against a Catholic high school. Come on, people. You are not the main character. We are. In fact, <laughs> in fact you're a side <laughs> character. We are. Really bad anime. <laughs> Don't you think our life is just one big bad anime? One big bad anime. Okay, so to get off of topic a little bit, so uh, Brody, we there you is know no that, topic. Uh, yeah, I know, but you know that cave we were mining in, like the one with the mine shaft. Yeah, we somehow missed a bunch of diamonds then. Gosh dang it. And by a bunch, I mean one. Oh. <laughs> About that mine, I have 24. I have five, Rudy. Calm down. I know, and I even made the enchanting table and diamond pickaxe. The enchanting table takes two diamonds. And the pickaxe takes three. So I spent five uh -huh. diamonds on community projects. Whatever. What have you invested? <laughs> nothing because I'm. S <laughs> I, I'm not. I, you would have downloaded a diamond, would you? What? Oh, no, you didn't. Get Never mind. It's a thing you would have downloaded a car, would you? What? <laughs> You've never heard of that? No. You download a car. That's niche. That, it's not that niche. 
That's niche. <laughs> it's not niche. Hashtag niche moment. Oh my gosh. You know what is niche? Our local, niche. Mall, our local malls, uh, JC Penney's ad. Just, just in general, that whole ad. East Hills, back to school. Oh wait, yeah, bleep no. that. <laughs> They're gonna figure it out. They're gonna find us. That just reminds me when I when I hear like people bleep out things in podcasts, just like information, I get really nosy. I'm like, huh? Oh, who? Why are they? What scandal were they? Hmm. Hmm. When it's, when it's probably boring information that they're just trying to cover up for privacy. You do know we do that, right? Exactly. Do we? Yes. When's the last time you actually bleep something? Was it a while? Because you when guys have gotten pretty you good. Took time. When have you took time during this podcast? During mm. this? Never. Riddle me that. Batman. Me this, I usually Batman. do it in an hour after. Why is the sign breathing? Because it can. Did you know the Riddler's name is Nigma? That's not funny. <laughs> I can't tell if you're trying to get us there or if you're just making a <laughs> poor joke. not funny. That reminds me. New conspiracy theory with JFK. Oh, the Ir He's Irish, so that's what killed him. His Irishness got to him. Finally caught was, up with him. He was so Irish. He, he was get. so Irish that his body couldn't take it anymore. Oh, so I sent that to Dylan and he told me I wasn't funny. And I was like, good, because that's not my joke. I yeah, I showed I told Dylan a very stupid JFK. Um oh, well theory. And it was because my my brother mixed up John Wilkes Booth with JFK. <laughs> so my so my thing was that John Wilkes Booth and JFK are the same person and the person who shot JFK was Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I don't even know how that happens. I don't know. Hashtag, don't you hate it when Abraham Lincoln shoots John Wilkes Booth? Oh, yeah. That's, that's just unfortunate. That also just makes me think of that one episode of Teen Titans Go where they thought his name was John Milk Booth and Robin had a milk mustache. Yes, I definitely That was have. so stupid. It was. I only watched it because my brother made us watch it sometimes. Evil. So wait, was this Teen Titans or Teen Titans Go? Teen Titans Go. This wasn't yeah, the good me. one. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't think I've actually watched the Inhabitants ever. I don't know why. I think it's just because we're. Was that. Was that our era? Was that not our era? I think, I think we were all born when it was still on. But it was. It never actually. I wasn't old enough to. I didn't understand what it was. Mm. At least me, but I'm the youngest. You are the youngin'. You're you're just a little guy. Uh, Can't a guy just be little? I am the very opposite of little. <laughs> Can a guy just be a little big guy? A little big guy. Little big guy. Little big planet. Little big guy. Interesting. Same thing. Did you guys ever play that? No. Mm -mm. <gasps> I like that what game. Little big planet? Yeah, with the sack huh. things, the sack people. I. Boys and sack no. girls are like. Do they wear sacks? No, they they're like. Sacks. They look like sacks. Look it up. Look it no. up. <laughs> little big sack. Look up little big planet. You don't have to look it? up sack boys. Little what big was... planet. 
what was it on? The PS. Well, it depends on which, which one. Which one? That's the thing. It was on multiple. Great. Just the PS4. Oh, Just look that at that thing. version. Yes. There you go. I I don't feel like looking it up. It, it just it's not weird. I swear. I know. I just don't have the energy. Characters do look odd. They're sack things. Sack and that's things. They're, they're like called. one of those sacks that have beans in them. You know, like a uh... a bean sack. Yeah. <laughs> a bean bag. <laughs> a bean. Not sack. a bean bag. That's wool <laughs> and stuff. I don't know. Hacky sack? Yeah, that's them. A that's bean what the guy's sack. head looks like. I'm sorry, but a <laughs> bean sack is wild. Let I'm me go sorry. get my bean sack real quick. Well, that's what they put um coffee beans in. A bean sack. A bean sack. You got to be joking, mate. What would you call it? Bean bags oh. already taken. I like bean bags. Bean sacks are stupid. You gotta be dreaming if you're gonna call it a bean sack. Yeah, I get it. I'm hilarious. Hilariously wrong. Okay, Gordon Ramsay. That just reminds me. Um, my on my New Year's Eve party at my grandparents' house. My n- no. At our family's Christmas deal, we had this manicotti, and the chicken was raw. <laughs> and all I could think about was Gordon Ramsay. What What is a uh, manicotti? It's like pasta. It's like, it's, from my understanding, it's like a ravioli-esque thing. And there was chicken inside the pasta. Well, it didn't cook all the way through. But, so huh. I was eating raw chicken. Oh, so I didn't good. get I I didn't get sick from it. My uncle who cooked it did. So uh, that's oh, that's justice. justice was served. Why do they call it salmonella? The first guy who got it ate salmon. But that's ironic. Because salmon is actually one of the few foods that you can't get salmon from. He was very lucky. It's probably the bacteria or something. I don't know. What's the bacteria in the salmon? No, I mean the 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 thing that makes you sick. What are you? I don't know. So confused. Can a guy just be wrong? No. <laughs> Can a guy just be wrong sometimes? Not allowed. Being wrong is. I'm just a silly goober, goobing my way through life. Is that wrong? Is goobing a verb or an adjective? Is goobing a crime? Good question. I don't know. Is, <laughs> is goobing a crime? Come on. Don't worry about what the media says. Don't don't worry. This media be no, honest. No, be honest with yourself. Have you been a little silly? Have you been a little silly? Are you I goobing around? Are you, are you a little silly at times? I don't want to answer that. It's okay. You can be free here. You're free from all the things. No, I feel like the IRS is watching. You can be a little goofy. The IRS is always watching. What? I I did not pay the IRS anything to, uh, to this. You can say this freely. There's nothing to worry about. Stop it. You're, I, we all know you're an IRS speaker agent. I didn't pay them. I don't work for the IRS, I swear. So I do, do pay your taxes. <laughs> Hmm. What? Nothing. And a guy just worked for the IRS. <laughs> <gasps> Hypothetically. Asking for a friend here. 
asking for a friend here, can a guy just work for the IRS and not and not be judged? These uh, it's a hard life out here being an IRS worker. What work? What work do you need to do? You don't even tell me how much I owe them. Though. I have to figure that out myself. And if I don't get it wrong, I get sent to prison. Well, isn't that crazy? Is it? It's not. Hmm. That's crazy. I just got just got I just got sent a bunch of money from a random it's not a paycheck from the IRS, I swear. Can you give me some of the money then? No. Are your sustenance? Did you pay your taxes? My mom did, hopefully. hopefully. And the answer is no. Why? Why? Because I said so. This is such a stupid bit. <laughs> anyway, um... Well, you know, I have to say, I got Hogwarts Legacy to play on my new computer, and I have figured out that game takes main character to a whole nother level. Oh, no. You main know, character syndrome. I can't stand it. You know, everyone's running around the school, and they're school robes and everything, going to classes. Me, I run around in a black cape because I want to be like Batman. And I go to classes whenever I please. <laughs> I can change the time to day or night. I can go into the forest and kill people and no repercussions. The bro is missing the point of Hogwarts. No, you, I go into you... the forest and I kill the uh, poachers. I'm doing work. Oh. Good work. Doing, and doing the animals. Gryffindor work. Wait, are you a Gryffindor? Ravenclaw, because they're house. Oh yeah. Coolest. I don't know. I feel like I feel like that's the type of game that they're like. You can only be a Gryffindor. You can only be main character. Gryffindors are stupid. They are. Mm -hmm. The only quests I ever find myself wanting to do are the ones where the teachers award me with new, more powerful spells. Honestly, the whole concept of Hogwarts houses is kind of dumb. It, it's it's giving millennial. It's almost like J.K. Rowling was. Was she a millennial? How old is she? Oh, uh, I don't know. She's not a millennial, is she? That's fair. Definitely not. A There's millennial. no way. No. She's either Gen X or Boomer. <laughs> She's actually a Gen Alpha. <laughs> the time doesn't time. Gen Alpha moment. iPad kid. <laughs> iPad kid. Bro. My name's JK Rowling. We're actually oh, getting pretty close toilet. to Gen B now. Gen huh? B. Mm -hmm. What is that they're going to call it? I guess beta. Oh, not those betas. Is, are, but is that the next gen? Is that what the next generation is gonna be? Yep. Is I it? think this is the last year of Gen uh, Alpha. There's no, no. way. It, I I feel like it. I feel like Gen Alpha was such a short reign. Maybe because Alpha it, males don't last long. Well, Gen Alpha. How? There's no way there because like generations are how old like each generation is doing kids right. Making kids. I, I feel like isn't like the youngest like Gen Z like eleven? Am I wrong? With, like thirteen. Gen Alpha yeah. is twenty ten to twenty twenty four. So this is the last year. What? That's only fourteen years. Yeah. That's weird. Each span is fifteen years. What? what a, That's what, what they're a doing crazy in world we live in. What? I thought they did it by like the average age each generation gives birth to kids. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. What? Millennials, 1980 to 1994. Gen Z, 1995 to 2009. 
Gen Alpha 2010 to 2024. And the next generation will be beta 2025 to 2039. Beta. Beta. They're just naming it after game development now. They they named <laughs> it they, by like the they, alphabet. Yeah. Greek alphabet? I I know. Calm down. Didn't seem no, like No, but it. what what's going on? The gen, I get the progression from like Gen X to Gen Z. What happened to Gen Y? Gen Y is the, the millennials. We just chose to call oh. it something different. Okay, good. I was like, petition, save, save, save Gen Y. Just kidding. Yeah, no. Hashtag don't say the Gen Y. So they ran out of letters. In the English alpha, 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 alpha net. And next, next we move to the Arabic alphabet. <laughs> What happens if we just run out of alphabet? Probably by then we'll have a completely new language. What, what if we no, just, it just don't? it just resets every time. No, no, no. What if we don't categorize people by their generations? I don't think it'll matter either do? way. It matters. Because each generation acts differently, so it's cool to see... Like... The... Difference. Gibbity toilet. This is what well, this is what happens when millennials become parents and older Gen Z. We get skibbity toilet. Um, your yeah. kids are your kids are being brainwashed. I don't know why so many kids are getting like uh, iPads now. I, I, I don't. I, I don't get it. My little cousin, he's in second grade. He has he's had a full working phone, like in call text everything, since kindergarten. I know. It's ridiculous. It's like I don't know, guys, wh what happened to the Kindle Fire? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, exactly. We just saw one of those in Target, right, Aiden? Those things were great. Yeah. Dude, they would hand those out like those were my, like, those were like giveaway prizes. I had to entertain myself with the Nintendo 2DS, which I honestly, like, that was a fun console. I had a Wii. I had a Wii, And too, I also had... 2DS was better. I also had the outdoors. Aiden, stop trying to defend the 2DS. It's not the The best. 2DS is amazing. Not that amazing. It's it was eighty five dollars. It could play both DS and three DS games. I don't know, and I have a limited edition version. So I don't know. I'm kind of biased to it, I guess. Let him be. Let let the little leave that leave that little guy alone. But also, I discovered one of the most fun games I've ever played in my life on it. It's called Fantasy Life, and I heard that. Either they're coming out with a second one, or a second one has come out. And I really want to play. That's crazy. How long have we been going for, lads? Let's see. 58 minutes. Whoa. That's wild. It's so cool now. I can have I can do whatever I want. I used to never not be able to do that. Because I had to mute everything else I was doing so it picked up just you guys but now I have an option and I can make it record just your guys' audio amazing I know now I can Hashtag hear the Minecraft noises technology 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 who doesn't like technology she tech technology onto my knowledge Who's ready to go back to school tomorrow? No, I'm not going. You think you are? You think you're gonna catch me in that English room? You're they are tried to get a me funny to help guy. Him get everyone to skip tomorrow. Oh, that he texted me and said, really "Do we have school tomorrow?" And I said, "Yes." And he said, 
okay, here's what we're going to do. You're going to tell all the girls that we need to go and skip school. I'll get all the boys and tell them we need to skip school. And I said, no, we're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Why does he think you are the controller of all the girls to get, <laughs> like... I don't know. Wait, who is this? Apparently, I can just do anything. N Nick. Garvey? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I saw uh Nick. I saw Nick uh and Sam over. Uh, it was like during bowling night or whatever on New Year's Eve. <laughs> That's fun. Uh huh. I was lucky. I got away free without seeing pretty much anyone over Christmas break, except for Aiden, who randomly showed up at Target, and then Brielle, because I went to eat at Chili's. Which I mean, I like Sam. Sam's cool. Yeah, he's he's fine. I lift with them, which I won't be able to do since I have to go to goddamn play practice. Yes, yes. Ugh. I don't even want to. I don't. I don't even want that. Apparently, I'm supposed to Brody have a are... button pop off my shirt. I don't know how that's going to happen. Me and Brody are going to be two little guys who are married. Yep. And we get a whole song about it. I'm excited to sing a song. I'm just. We need to make. Song. We need to make that song the best. Wait, don't you have a song with us, Aiden? I do. I don't know. Yeah, you do. I don't know. You're in. One I think of that. Ours. I think we should make that the best song, so that everybody's like Cinderella. No, it's the Chef King and Queen show. Uh huh. <laughs> the royal. Man, court. that chef was pretty good. The and the those two royals. I'm excited. We get thrones. That's the only thing I'm excited about. <laughs> I know. You keep bringing that up. It's like, man, we could just sit on thrones. Like, who, who cares? We're the guys in the chair. Kiss my ring. People have to While kneel. I, on my I have a secret service squad. <laughs> and royal guards. A, a, a secret service squad? Yeah, apparently I have no idea what it means, but uh, Dylan has to ask if he can borrow them to go find Cinderella. Is that just? Uh, I hate that... it when my Secret Service squad be out of town because they have to find this random girl. I know. I don't know why. How big is it can a, the kingdom is, be? Is it like finding people, like Hitman? Is it? Is it? Wait. Is it? Is uh, is I don't it know, but your character that... is not too pleased uh, about it. The uh, <laughs> prince needs to find this person, right? Um, yeah, Cinderella. They, why does he just give them a like a description of her? But no, it's like I must look at the feet of every woman. I, he, he doesn't know. He doesn't know the spell made her unrecognizable. Ah, uh, but still, how but does he still... know that? How does he know the yeah. spell made her unrecognizable? Yeah. He doesn't know. That's why he's asking people. Wait, he's wait. He knows what she looks like. He saw her at the ball. How many yeah, other gods could and there he, be? He in went, the isn't, the isn't, isn't the, the only way. original story? The not the original original, but like, isn't that the whole point that he can't find her merely by looking for her? It's because the spell. Sure, maybe, Listen, but he doesn't know... know the spell changer. He's just looking for the same person. You should be giving a description of the person he danced with at the ball. But the spell made her like that way. Her mom, that way, the stepmother didn't find her because the, her stepmother was at the ball. Yes, that's wonderful. But the thing is, that he was... doesn't know it changed her. He thinks that he has to think that that person's actually out there by those well, looks. If... If he gives that description, then he's never gonna find her. Exactly. So how does he know okay, that no one that, that how person many other doesn't exist? That could they be? description. I don't know. It it. Why are you worried about how many blondes are in this kingdom? I'm a blonde. Yeah, I, I know. know. I'm trying to find still. a plot hole. You know what? I don't know, and I'm getting pretty hungry. What are we at? We're good to end. Give us a fact. Yeah, Aiden. Give, give us, us a, a fact, fact now. That way we can Oh sleep yeah, for sorry, sorry. Um, so give us a yeah. fact. Shut up. <laughs> so the hashtag symbol is technically called an octothorpe. 